it is important for the EC to list them. And all these bodies will engage the EC anyway. So the EC is going to ha receive a copy of the recommendation they make. I, I think the EC this time around should set up an internal committee, reform committee that ensures that the recommendations, at least those ones that it agrees with, are implemented before next election. Two, APAC, you we hardly ever take a vote. I, I, I say we because I remember I, I represent a civil society organization. Okay. I, 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 I did. In fact, the civil society organizations, we are plenty, but we don't have a vote. We don't, we are not even allowed to, to talk. You are observers. You are observers. So I think going forward, knowing that this is the situation with IPAC, listen to the key, identify the key stakeholders from the not so big key stakeholders. Because the reality is that in the election, two parties, the NDC and the MPP, always obtain about 98.5% to 99% of the vote. So make sure that you listen to the views of the key stakeholders as you pay attention to the views of the key stakeholders. Otherwise, somebody is going to always complain that parties that are not able to meet whatever requirement, you know, they, 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 these are the two key, they, if they obtain the two of them account for 98.5% of the vote, what they say should matter.